Hello to everyone. I'm um, hoping a very great day. I'm having a very great day too. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at this question paper for life sciences, um, which was written in June 2017. So let's waste no time, guys. Let's jump to question 1.5. Okay, so question 1.5 says study the diagram below of the sequence of events that take place from the fixation of the ovum to the development of the embryo a part of the human female reproductive system. So the arrow the arrows indicate the direction of development of one ovum after fixation. Okay, so we have the parts that are being illustrated by the letters, uh, the parts of the um, as well as the organs of the female reproductive system. So um, as you can see guys, so that's it. So 1.5.1 says um, a says identify um, structure C, so let's identify structure C. Okay, so as you can see, structure C, uh, this is structure C, right? What is structure C? You can see there's a process that occurs at B. Okay, meaning that at A, the ovum is being released, and there's a process that I want to check that okay. So after that process, what is being formed? So C is a what? It's a zygote. Okay. So C is a zygote, guys. Um, let's move to B. The stage of embryo development at B. Stage at C. What's the name of the stage? Okay. So look. At C, it said it's a zygote. After the process that took place at B. So D, as you can see, what occurs at D? Okay, mitosis occurs, I'm going to change it. So after mitosis occurs, it occurs maybe after um, three days. You can see one, two, and three. What is being formed after three days? Okay, what is being formed is after 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 zygote has been formed and mitosis applied the zygote. What is being formed after these three days is a what? It's a what? It's a morula. Okay. Yes, it's a morula. So the stage of embryo development at E, it's a, it's a morula. One mark. So it's C. Let's move to C. Okay, we're down at B. So C, um, the structure that develops from a combination of parts F and H. Okay, of parts F and H. So what part F? Part F is the endometrial wall, and part H. Um, it's um it's it's the attachment as you can see of the these are the you can see these are the villes okay that are being attached into the endometrial wall. So what um occurs when the blastocyst okay which is G is being attached to the what to the endometrial wall. So what is being what what is being um formed okay the structure that is being formed. Or the structure that develops, okay. Yes, so the type that is a placenta at G, this is by the fetus is going to be developed, or it's going to be, uh, um, yes, the, uh, this is the situation of the fetus, and and this, this is the endometrium more from the mother's body, okay, or from the maternal body. So the mother will. Transfer the nutrients, the oxygenated blood, and other, um, and other vital stuff to the baby, and from the baby, which is that from G, to the mother, so by the baby's excreting waste, as it like um, for like taking the the deoxygenated blood to the mother. Okay, number two, um, the waste taking the waste Okay, yes, that's it. So, straightforward, the structure that develops from the commission of parts F and H is going to be the placenta. Okay, yes, going to be the placenta. I hope you know down the, the answers, guys. Okay, so 1.5.2 says, name the process that takes place at B. Yes, the process that I've been telling you about. So, this is the fertilization. As you can see that there are sperms. Okay, yes, or the male haploid cells that are digesting 
um, the, the ovum, okay? Yes. So that's fertilization process in B, okay? Yes. That's it. So we done with A at 1.5.2. So B says, B says when G attaches, so name the process when G attaches to part F. So attaches to the endometrium. So that's whereby the the the, the process is being implanted. So this is the implantation, okay? B implantation. So 1.5.3 says give the chromosome number of A um, of the cells at D of the cells at D cells at D. The chromosome number the cells of D. So meaning that the fertilization process have been formed now, meaning that the two haploid cells from the male and from the female have been joined together to form a zygote. So you know that two haploid cells, 23 number of chromosomes from the male, 23 number of chromosomes from the female. So when they come together, they make 26, 20, uh, so sorry, 46 number of chromosomes. So at D, Okay, yes. At D, it's 46 number of chromosomes. Okay, yes. Okay, yes, because 23 plus 23 is 46, right? Yes. So B, cell at A. So the ovum, it's a haploid cell. Know that it has 23 number of chromosomes. So cell A has 23 number of chromosomes, a haploid female cell. Okay, that's how it goes. So it was quick like that guys, so I hope you are noting down the, the answers. Um, yeah, so please don't forget to subscribe right, for more lesson contents. Um, yeah, see you in the next following video. Have a great day. Cheers.